Hi Taurus, thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you are doing well. This is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We'll take a look at the cards for the awareness or big ideas for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So without further ado, let's just get started with your reading. Okay, let's choose two cards. for awareness. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, our favorite wounded warrior, looking over his shoulder as if to say, what next is going to happen here? May not be happy about it, but he's ready to deal with whatever's coming his way. And so for you, Taurus, uh, whether you have been having a challenging time uh, you may feel that you are having to protect yourself, to defend yourself, that regardless of what's happening, you're going to be standing. You feel like you want to be the last man standing, and um, you're ready for anything. This shows a lot of courage, a lot of determination, a lot of grit. And again, things are never easy. Things are never perfect in how we live, and sometimes we have to... Be mindful, we have to look out, we have to be on guard, if you will, to protect ourselves, to protect our beliefs, perhaps to protect family. So this is a week where regardless of how tired or exhausted or beaten up you may be or bruised, you're still standing, you're still watching, and you are ready. You're ready to take care of yourself, you're ready to protect yourself. So then we have the lovely world, Major Arcana card. And this card is about the culmination of your journey, the, the finality of it. And so the beauty is that you're able to enjoy what you have accomplished. This is about recognition. You see this beautiful laurel wreath or green victory wreath. The woman is kind of skip dancing perhaps she has her purple sash the wands in her hand and there's a real sense here that um again through the journey there you've had ups and downs you've had to make sacrifices you've you've had probably small victories you've shown strength all the things that go through you know a path that we take and so now's your chance to enjoy and to feel content and to feel good about what you've done. People may be recognizing you or appreciating what you've done of reaching a goal, of reaching a dream. Whether that dream is with, with respect to a relationship, a successful relationship, something that you've done career-wise, or simply something that you'd hope to achieve you know, running a half marathon, uh, learning how to play piano. So with the world, it's a matter of thinking, well, what's next? You know, I just don't stop here. I'm going to continue on. And so how do, we, how do we bring our talents and how do we add value to the world at large? So now let's choose two cards for guidance. So interesting, with the hanged man, the major arcana, imagine being flipped upside down, how you see the world. Your view changes. Your perspective changes. And that's really what the hanged man is about. It's about looking at things differently. He's comfortable. He's, uh, he's not going anywhere. So he's kind of letting the situation go and, and to... Uh, be at peace with it, but at the same time gaining uh, valuable insight by seeing things differently. So you may have felt that you've been sacrificing. You may be asked to sacrifice. You may be asked to put things on pause for a bit. But most importantly, it's your thinking. New approach, new ideas. 
before you before you re-enter a situation, you're going to have this new perspective. And perhaps the new perspective is really needed as we see the Five of Wands. And with the Five of Wands, we see the boys and their wands. And it looks like a big mess. And so this is perhaps a group dynamic that isn't quite working out so well. We might say this is conflict or healthy competition. Um, arguments, petty arguments, people's ego getting involved. The play for power. And too many people doing their own thing and not working together. So we, we deal with these things all the time. We deal with them in our relationships, with our families, with our siblings, with our children, with our coworkers. And, you know, it's a matter of you got to find the right approach to deal with conflict. And often it's having a courageous conversation. It's having an honest conversation. It's maybe resetting, having a reset and saying, you know, we're not working well here. We need to figure this out. And so your enlightenment here of thinking out of the box, perhaps, or in a different way could certainly help mitigate and lessen this sense of conflict or inability to work together. Okay, let's see what we have for possible outcomes. So interesting, another uh, major arcana card, we have some big ideas here of judgment. And this judgment is getting the call. And that's you getting the call, the universe calling you and saying, come on out, I'm, I'm sending you a message, are you listening? And she's raising out her hands, she hears the message, they hear the message, rising out of their coffins. There may be a part of your life where you feel, you know, for want of a better word, where you feel dead, where you feel stuck, where you feel stagnant. And sometimes you do get this call and it's like it wakes you up. So here's the sense of rebirth, of discovery, of the judgment of your own life. You know, thinking about, man, you know, what's going on here? I need to change some things. I need to be my best self. I need to live the life that I'd hoped for. Am I on that path or am I not on that path? So you have a chance for second chances. You have a chance for rebirth, rebirth to transform. It's nev you're never too old. It's never too late. But it's up to you to take the steps. And so with this sense of judgment, a big idea of looking to clean your slate and to let whatever happened before, you know, in the past, let it go. You get to start fresh. Here are many options for you. You're thinking a lot, you've got a lot on your plate. You have a lot in your mind. You see a lot of possibilities. Sometimes that can be overwhelming. Sometimes that can be a positive thing. It stimulates our imagination our dreams. You may want to ultimately narrow it down to one of these options. But great ideas and dreams are born when we have fantasies, when we think of, of things that are, no one's thought of before. So this is an interesting reading of, I feel like, of where of where you've, you're headed after this journey of yours has successfully closed. That there's some uh, inability to work together, that your ability to think and to, to look at new, new approaches, new ideas is going to help you deal with conflict. Maybe you're moving away from conflict. And then ultimately, Having the judgment and taking judgment of your own life, your own actions, your own responsibilities, and saying, I need to get to my best self. 
And there are a lot of things that that could be. And I simply need to, I'm going to have to think about what really speaks to me. So, uh, ooh, very interesting, Taurus. So let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. Oops. This will be a meditation point or a focus area for the week. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Release and mend from the conflict. Heal from conflict. Connecting, connect with yourself. You know? Connect with yourself. Mending from being tired from being uh, on guard, dealing with the things that you need to deal with to be successful in life. So now let's choose an oracle card for spirit or emotional self. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Check in with yourself. Hectic, you know. I see hectic with the Nine of Wands. I see hectic with the conflict the people not working well together. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. So Taurus, these are some pretty specific messages about strength, fortitude, your perspective, your ability to deal with conflict or challenges, and mostly uh, the call, getting the call to either change things, to reevaluate, to rethink. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading today. And if you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. And I wish you a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.